Hey guys, I wanted to share with you the mad, crazy chaos that is my life right now since we've been gone since last Thursday and then we had the storm and the, the flooding here. We had a, parents came and picked up their kids and we took off to the airport because we had to get to Washington for WLTI. We were gone. We came back um, yesterday afternoon, so I stayed and I got my room ready for today's setup, which was the uh, foot treatment, um, the pomegranate foot treatment, and then we had Burmax that delivered packages and I had some packages from Amazon come in, and we have open house tonight, and <sighs> it has been insane. I have not uploaded because of that. I had videos ready, and I just needed to do a little bit of editing on like the, the, the name and adding the song, the copyright and all that. But yeah, I have no time. There's just no time when you go to things like that that you're, you're busy and focused doing other things. So I apologize for not uploading. So let me kind of take you around and show you what's going on today. So here we, um, I moved the tables to the back, back here. And I decided that I am going to order um, some more of those because that basket thing is just, that's driving me insane how it's like unorganized and that's just not working out. It's hard for the kids to get to them, but that's okay. So I'm going to, this square here will be sophomores and that square there will be freshmen and I'll have the tables and do that uh, set up there. I just need to order them. I've already got the purchase order going. I moved the tables here as well. Um, because in the middle we did our pedicure setup and with our pedicure setup I put the chairs one in front of the other and then the pedicure uh, tubs and such. We're working on fashion design which my sub is Stephanie Salamantes which is an amazing sub. If you ever need a sub she is your go-to. She is licensed. She's a licensed cosmetology instructor and she's amazing so she was teaching fashion design because we are creating a dress, a paper dress. Uh, it's a teamwork uh, activity and we have a field trip going on. And then our 10th graders, that's our 9th graders, and our 10th graders are working on nail designs with our opening show of the Houston Fashion Week. And so that's what she was working on with them. So I put the tables up here because those are ones that did not fold um, so that I can have my set up here. Back on this side, I have a slight of a bit of a mess, just a little unorganized, but I've got all my pedicure, not pedicure, but my spa treatment, my foot spa treatment stuff on this end. Today we're working on the pomegranate. So pomegranate, uh, and then I've got my supply cabinet in there. And let me share with you guys the awesome stuff that I got with from Amazon. All right guys, I wanted to share with you the tip of the day. When we do foot services, not all the students like to get done. So having these mannequin feet actually help a lot. So the student is actually able to do the foot and all the services on the foot without actually having to do an actual foot or each other. So these we got from Burmax. They were a few bucks and totally worth it. So I highly suggest you guys getting some of these. In your palette, you should have scrub, mask, lotion, and your petals. We do not have a pomegranate soap. I am working on that, so we're using the petals. Model, you have taken your shoes off, socks off. You've rolled your toe, your toes. You rolled, you rolled your fat leg up and you're ready to go. You have two towels at your station and you have two towels in the warm towel bin by the counter on the counter. Service providers, you have your gloves on. I don't know, close the door. Alright, here go the light. All right, you have two spatulas. Who does not have two spatulas? Wow, you're making a mess back here. Okay. Okay. I have three. Who needs two spatulas? Who needs two spatulas? 
All right. All right, who needs a brush? Everybody has a brush? A fan brush? Who needs a brush? Me. Okay. Who else needs a brush? Just one person needs a brush? Okay, brush. Here you go. Thank you. All right. Ready to start? On your way out, make sure to grab your pink flyer for the pomegranate spawn day for next week. Remember that this week tomorrow is the deep tree calendar foot. Y'all did that last week. Um, I heard you guys did really great, so thank you for that. All right, uh, green tea, green tea, I apologize, green tea. Okay, so we're gonna go and get started. We've got to hurry, because we only have 25 minutes to get this done, okay? So with the client, you take 15 minutes per service, like we did our appointment, our service card, but here we're gonna rush to do it, okay? All right, so service provider, go ahead and tell your client, go ahead and gently dip your fit, your foot into the water. You can do both feet. While your client is dipping their feet in, the client is gonna say, ooh, it's hot. They're gonna pull their feet out and a lot of times the water sprinkles everywhere, okay? So the thing with that is your client is gonna say, Put cold water in it because it's too hot. You have to tell your client, you have to teach your client why they feel it's too hot. Your feet are not used to getting wet on their own at this temperature. So your feet need to get acclimated to the water. Put them in, take them out. Put them in, take them out. Put them in, take them out. In just a second, client, your feet are going to get acclimated to the water and it's not going to feel hot. So, guys, so once your client says, hey, put water in it and you add cold water, in five minutes in the middle of the service, the water is going to be what? Cold. Cold. And then they're going to say what? It's too cold. It's too cold. And then you're going to put hot water in it and then they're going to say it's too hot. And then it's a, you're wasting your time. Teach your clients the why and then what they have to do to adjust. Go to take your rose petals and dump your rose petals into the water. These are the sudsy ones, they turn into soap. So dump your rose petals in the water. Make sure to take your pictures of your setup, of you doing this. Last bus period, a cell phone fell into the tub. Do not have your cell phones in a spot where they can fall into the water. Be careful. While your client is dipping their feet, I need you to put one towel over the cushion if you have a rollabout. If you don't have a rollabout, don't worry about it. If you have a rollabout, put one towel over the cushion. That is to protect the cushion so that this rollabout that costs very expensive will last us for a long time. You still have to clean it, but it's just to protect it. And it's back here rollabout. And it's pushing. Uh, it's a hole. Yeah, roll, the, roll it over. I think I turned it over. So that way when she puts her foot up, it's close to you. Yeah, go down. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so from here, service provider, take the fourth towel, fold it in half, and put it over your knees. You're going to fold it and put it over your knees. The reason why you want to fold it is so that the water will get absorbed by two sides of the towel before it hits your jeans. Now, for salon days, it will eventually be mandatory for you to wear scrubs. I would highly suggest for you to wear scrubs because you get all dirty. Then sometimes you bend over and it's like we got the plumber thing going on back here or like you bend over and then the hoo haws are coming out, okay? <laughs> so you gotta be careful with that. There was not that kind of service around here. All right, you're gonna take one, so make sure you don't have your ID, make sure your hair's pulled back to the service provider because if you're down here and you got the hair on their toes, you got toe jam in your hair. And you're eating lunch and there's toe jam right here. Toe jam? Jam from toast, yep. 
All right, you're gonna take one foot out of the water and put it on the on your leg or put it on the cushion, either one, depending on what what you're using. So it'll be on your leg, it'll be on your leg, it'll be on your leg, okay? Okay. From here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your spatula, one of the spatulas, and you're gonna take the spatula, you're gonna take half of the scrub, and you're going to add the scrub with the spatula gently to one foot. You have to use half of the amount that's in your palate, obviously, because you got two feet to do. So apply half of the scrub on the foot, and then put your palate and your spatula down. Use your spatula on this one. Can I touch it? Yes, you can touch it with your hand. What is she doing? Once you apply, once you're done applying the scrub, what you're going to do is you're going to take your hands and you're going to circular rotate. Circular rotate. Don't be afraid of the foot. Grab that foot. Pick it up. Get in there. Circular rotate. What you do not want, what you do not want, you do not, I forgot what you don't want. I was thinking of something else I never know. It was like so important, right? Um, yes, okay. So, as you're applying the product, here are a few things to think about. Oh, I know what you don't want. When you're applying it, you don't want to take the scrub and you don't just want to go back and forth. One, that's not comfortable. Ladies, I need you to help me out here. Okay, you don't want to go back and forth. One, that's causing friction, it's uncomfortable. And two, that's not professional. She can do that at home. Why does she need you? You want to do soft circular rotation movements all over. You want to make sure you get in between the toes and that's a soft spot, so be careful with the toes. Some people have broken their toes before. Sometimes toes break and they heal on their own. You don't want to hurt them further, okay? Once you do one foot, put it in the water, take the other foot, dry it, and then grab the rest of the scrub. You don't want to leave any scrub behind because we don't want to waste anything. We don't want to throw it away. Might as well use it. Take your spatula or take your hand, grab the rest of the scrub, apply to that foot that you just towel dried a little bit, and then circular rotate. One point that I want to point out, when you shower, Everything falls, all the dirt and the grime and the sweat and everything falls to your feet, right? So when you shower, it ends up at your feet. The last thing people do when they shower is they rinse their conditioner and then they walk out. Well, everything is at their feet. The last thing you need to do before you get out of the shower is wash and scrub your feet. People don't do that. So the part that you'll find that has skin roly polies, kind of like when you have a booger and it's wet and you kind of go like that, you get the little roly poly, is on the side of the ankle, the little, the little divots on the ankle. That is the spot where you really want to hit, especially with older people. When you do that, you will see that dead skin will start to come off and you get the skin roly polies on those spots. Here's another point that you want to you wanna make sure to know. At the bottom of the foot, when you're doing the scrub, there's a sensation, there's a point on the bottom of the foot where you feel right here on your throat. You feel the tickle. Some clients, worst case scenario, they will vomit. Ew. So instead of cleaning toe jam, you're gonna clean their lunch. So when your client is like, and they're kind of like pulling their foot away from you, back off. It's on the arch of the foot. On the arch of the foot, yeah. If you, if you do it a certain way, you'll, you'll feel in here. So, you have to pay attention to what your client is doing, feeling their face. If they're feeling too much, it should be relaxing, so back off. Okay? Whenever you're done, put the foot back in the water. Some people can take it and some people can't, so just kind of put the person. Alright, put both feet back in the water. I'm going to teach you two ways to rinse. Traditional and the new way. When you are doing this, do not put your hand in the water enough so that the 
Water gets into your glove. You're going to bend down. You're going to take your hands, rinse your hands lightly, and then you're going to rinse the foot. Take up some water, rinse the foot. Pick up water, rub, get all that scrub off. Okay? That is the that is the traditional way of rinsing the foot. You gotta be careful not to get your water in your glove. The new way that we're gonna do it, we have our squeezy bottles. So go ahead and take your hands out of the water. Dry your hands with the towel that's on your uh, lap or whichever. Get the squeezy bottle, pick up one of the legs up out of the water and rinse. <coughs> this is very messy. This is why we wear scrubs and not fancy shoes. Okay? Rinse with the squeezy bottle and then put the, the foot on the cushion or if you have that one on the purple part of the... Yeah, just lay your foot on the purple part. Lay your foot, yeah, right there. To rest it. There you go. And then do the other foot. So that is if you use a squeezy bottle. Now let's think about this. You have a little old man and you're rinsing the dead skin off of his feet. And then you touch your squeezy bottle with your same hand that touched the dead skin. Should you sanitize the squeezy bottle? Yes. Mm -hmm. You should sanitize anything you touch, always. Make sure you get in between those toes. Miss, can we sit on the floor? You can sit on the floor, yes. Okay. It is very messy. It does get dirty. This is why we sanitize. We use scrubs. We don't have fancy clothes on and we don't have fancy shoes on and we don't have our hair down and we don't have jewelry on. Okay. Imagine if doctors went to work all fancy. That wouldn't, that wouldn't work out very well. Okay. Once you rinse all that off, put their feet on the cushion or the purple part of the foot bath or on your knee. You're not going to place them back into the water because you don't want to scrub back on there. From here, what you're going to do is you towel dry the foot as best as possible using whatever towel you have available. Then, I'm going to teach you three ways to apply the mask. Oh, we got 10 minutes, so i gotta, I got to hurry, okay? Dry the foot as best you can. Three ways of applying the mask. You're going to apply the mask with the spatula first. So take the new spatula, grab half of the mask. Using the spatula, you're going to apply and spread the mask. This is one way of applying the mask. Now let me tell you something. This is pretty easy. You spread it, you throw it away, you're done. You don't have to clean a brush. I know it's kind of hard to work on top of that. Here's the bad thing. If you're cheap and you go buy cheap, and even if it's not cheap, sometimes it just comes wrong. But if that spatula that's made out of wood has a splinter in it, what do you think is going to happen? It's going to cut the cotton. Yeah, and how do you think that's going to be easy to find that splinter and take it out? Not at all. So when you apply with the spatula, you got to apply softly, barely grazing the surface. Definitely not in between the toes, because can you imagine how that would hurt? That's one way to apply. Do not buy cheap spatulas if you're gonna use a spatula to apply. Once you try that method, grab your brush, your fan brush, and finish applying using your fan brush. You're gonna use a fan brush and you're gonna glide the brush back and forth and you're gonna apply the mask to the top, the bottom, the heel, in between the toes, and top and tippy toes. Top of and tippy of the toes. Now, this mask is a thicker mask. These are fan brushes. These brushes are not meant for a thick mask. The fan brushes, if you recall and remember from last year, the fan brushes are for gel masks or cream masks that can be easily spread. Thick masks require the oval mask brush. All right, so once you apply all of the mask in between the toes and all with your brush to one foot, you move on to the next foot. The, the, yes, underneath and in between the toes, yes ma'am. 
The third way to apply a mask is with your hands. This is another way salons do it because you just take the gloves off there when you're done. A grab, scoop up the mask, emulsify, and apply like you're applying lotion. You want to make sure to get all over. That is the least professional way to do it because, I mean, she can do it, so why does she need you at that point? Right? It's not very relaxing, but that is a way to do it. If you use the gloves to apply the mask, you just have to throw those gloves away because it's kind of hard to wash them up. <clears throat> when you are done applying the mask, what we are going to do is I'm going to just raise your hand. And I'm going to come by and I'm going to give you your two towels and I'm going to show you how to wrap the foot. And there are so many ways to do it. I'm going to show you the easiest way. When you get to your junior and senior levels, you will learn other techniques that are more advanced. But to 10th grade, you just learn how to do it. Basic way. Okay? You're going to wrap the mask with a warm towel. Okay? Both feet each get one towel. You're gonna lay your clients in for 10 minutes. Today, we don't have 10 minutes, so as soon as you're done cleaning, you're gonna come back, take it off, and then massage your lotion in. For a client, make sure it's 15 minutes per service, okay, per step. Now, with today, we did not get a chance to do the hot stone oil massage, nor do we get a chance to do the paraffin dip. We will get there, okay? But we didn't get a chance today, I apologize. When you're done, you don't want to have any product left on your, bless you, on your palate. If you do, gauge it so that next time you take less product, okay? Some people have little feet, some people have big feet. It just kind of, long feet, short feet, it depends. Everybody's different, so you got to eyeball it. Eventually, you'll get good enough to where you can do so. While your client has their feet wrapped up in the towel, you, the service provider, are going to clean. So you're going to take the water, dump it out, throw the liner away. There's a stack of liners over there. We don't reuse them, we throw them away. The hard plastic liners. 9.30, ADA attendance reminder. And then you can clean your palate, you can clean, you're just gonna need the lotion when you're done. You can clean your squeezy bottle and then we need to sanitize and EPA everything, our chairs and our rollabouts and whatnot, okay? When you are ready, let me take your attendance really quick, but whenever you are ready, you're going to raise your hand and Joanna's going to come by. I'm going to pull two towels for you. Then they're going to like this. That, and then wrap that. She says it's harder when you eat the And then, I don't know. Stop, Frida. 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 Frida.